guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 15. There are 10 days until Christmas. How is that possible? I have my little buddy here with me and there's his little best friend. This morning we are going to be making salto ornaments and I am so excited because if it works out the way we hope, <laughs> we'll be able to get Grayson's handprint and footprint and look back on that for years to come. So I really hope we can open his hand enough to do the handprint. The foot should be fine, but I'm thinking he loves to curl his hands. So doing that part might be a challenge. But other than that, I have laundry to put away. So I thought I would sit and do that a little bit later. And then this evening, my best friend is coming over and she's gonna meet Grayson for the first time. And I really can't wait for that. I probably won't record that part, but I'm just excited. I think it's going to be a very good day. Okay guys, it is a few hours later and I was just getting client work done. I wanted to get it done sooner rather than later since my best friend is coming over tonight. And I had this little cutie. Huh. We are ready to do our salto ornaments. So I have my cute little assistant here and we are going to be making salto ornaments. Um, what you need is flour, salt, and warm water. And that's it. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well because this is my first time making anything like this. By the way, I am doing this on our kitchen table. So it's just easier with filming and with him. But that's why I'm right here. Okay, so there's my flour. For salt, we actually had to just buy a brand new thing of salt because this uses so much salt. So one cup. You can see. Still pouring salt. So much salt. I guess they are called salt though, ornaments though, so it makes sense. That was a lot of salt. I'm gonna take my ring off because that just seems like a recipe for disaster. Okay, so now it says to knead it for 10 minutes. It might be too dry. I might need some more water, actually. I don't think I can touch Grayson for a while after this. So I have the salt dough ball, the rolling pin, and <laughs> Grayson's pacifier. <laughs> and I'm going to get to work rolling this. I also have this cutie. He clearly fell asleep while we were working. <laughs> Okay, so I had to ask Kevin to help me with this because I was not strong enough to roll it flat enough or thin enough. But we are going to try using either of these to cut out a circle. So then we can put his handprint and footprint in the middle of each. And I think we're actually gonna be doing a couple different kinds because we wanna make sure if they don't turn out, at least one does. So then we have, you know, backups. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the bigger circle that we have and i'll just start here probably gonna need kevin's help <laughs> okay okay there's one circle since we don't have that much dough we decided we're just gonna go ahead and use this because this circle actually looks really good and we're just gonna have to go through with like a butter knife or something to cut it out completely but i like that it's like a perfect um, circle. So I'm just going to keep doing this all around the dough. I'll do it right there. Okay, 
Okay, I have my circles cut out. I'm actually pretty pleased with how they look, guys. I did not expect that to go as well it has, as it has. And so let's hope the rest of this goes well because so far so good. I'm going to be using this little piping insert to poke holes at the top of the ornament so we can hang them. Okay, so here we have our six ornaments and now we are going to get Grayson's handprint and footprint on I'm thinking we'll probably do three handprints three footprints just so we have them to be safe because there's a chance that you know one or two or a few will not turn out but hopefully they all turn out because so far I have to say I'm pretty pleased with how this is going and uh, I was a little bit worried that I ruined the table <laughs> because of how hard I was pushing down to cut these out. But luckily, the magic eraser took everything off. And now we get Grayson's handprint and footprint. Aww. Yeah, let's do left foot or right foot. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> I know it's not natural. Okay, so that was a lot more difficult than we anticipated. Actually, if I'm being honest, it was as difficult as we anticipated, <laughs> but we got them. I think that this one is the best handprint. And honestly, I think his little feet all turned out pretty good. I think the middle is probably the worst one, but I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Okay, so I came in Grayson's room really quickly just to show you guys the package I got in the mail. I have been waiting on this package for a couple weeks now. It was supposed to arrive on the 7th. So actually, no, it's been like, it's been like a week. But it was supposed to arrive on the 7th, and then on the 7th, it said it was still in pre-shipment. So I was like, okay that's not good and i finally called um this past weekend and they told me that there was a delay because of covid and then the guy was like i can cancel your order and try to reorder the stuff so he's like the problem is the stuff you ordered is no longer in stock so i was like that does me no good so the reason i was so bummed about that stuff not being in stock and them not knowing where my package was is because this is like a cute little um, matching pajamas for Kevin Grayson and I. And I originally bought bottoms for me, a set for Kevin, and then a sleeper for Grayson. And I had them like well in advance, like even before December started. But then Kevin was like, wait, can you get a matching top? I don't wanna be the only one in full pajamas. And so I was like, okay, that makes sense. Well, they ended up having one. For some reason, the woman, the women's wasn't sold as a set, but the men's was. I don't know why, but I ended up finding the matching top to mine, and I ended up getting Grayson a size up because the first one is up to seven pounds, and he's over seven pounds now, so I had to get him zero to three months, but that's like the only thing he's zero to three months in, which is so weird. <gasps> but anyway, long story short, <laughs> I've been waiting on this stuff, and I'll show you guys. So let's see. So this is my top. I'm super excited about this. This is the top, let's see. Okay, it's a small, it's pretty big actually, but that's cute. I have the matching bottoms to it and it's got like this waffle. Can you even see that? Okay, and then for Grayson, oh, how cute are these? So hopefully these fit and if these are too big we'll just put them in as others but these were on sale and they were like a super good sale so we just went ahead and got them but now we have our matching family pajamas and we're totally those people only because it's grayson's first christmas so we just want to go all out but yeah so that was the package i've been waiting for best part is after i got off the phone with old navy i waited for like an 
half an hour, 45 minutes to talk to customer service. Um, and then they told me they just like, I could just see if my package would come and wait a week and see what happens. Or they could just cancel my order and, I was, and give me a refund. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna see because there's a chance it could pop up. An hour later, you guys, Kevin said an hour after I got off the phone, they are like, oh, we shipped your package. <laughs> so weird, so weird. It's like they were like waiting for me to complain. <laughs> they were like, okay, I guess we should send it. And now I'm gonna go out there because it sounds like Grayson's having a hard time. I think he's hungry. Okay, so we just pulled the little salt dough ornaments out of the oven and this is how they look. We're definitely going to paint where his hand and footprint are so that way it's more obvious. But overall, I think they turned out really cute. So here is how it looks. I actually think this looks really adorable. And it was really difficult <laughs> to get his hand and footprint. So I'm actually pretty pleased with how they look. Let's see this one. Cute. I think they're pretty cute. So. I'm happy. Well, I'm gonna end the vlog here because Grayson is hungry and my best friend is on her way. But I hope you enjoyed watching me make salto ornaments with my baby today. And I will see you back tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16.